Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Funko Pop of Poe with Hat from Kung Fu Panda. Now, even though this figure is in a very, like, simple pose, like, he doesn't even have his legs spread apart or his arms out, it's just, like, one big lump of a body, it's still a really dynamic pop. In fact, all the pops in the Kung Fu Panda series are really unique and interesting looking. Now, even though he doesn't have his arms out or anything, he still ha strikes a presence because his arms are in a really kind of cool pose. And I like that they took the time to paint his little fingertips, the little fingernails there. It might not be seen, but I like that if you take the time to look for it, it is, the details are there. So kudos to Funko for getting those details right. Now the stripes going along the edge of his pants look good, and then the detail on the pants themselves are great with all these little sections that are sculpted in, and then the paint follows those lines perfectly. Then you get to the little feet, and I think the brown paint following the little toe area all looks really good. So the paint, as far as the body goes, the white and the black, the fingertips, all look good. But I really do like that pose. Again, simple body, but still dynamic. Then you get to the head, which, man, there's some personality there, there's some attitude. Just the way the little black eye sections scoop inward, and that little kind of turned down line mouth really show that he means business. And I like the fact they can convey so much personality within this pop. Now the snout looks good, uh, the sculpted nose looks good, even though mine has a little bit of white scuffs on the black nose. Um, it still looks good. There was only one I saw in store, so I took what I can get, but those scuffs aren't that bad. The little dots above the mouth look good, the black against black on the eyes look good, and then his hat looks awesome. This is another thing that makes this pop stand out. Because even though his body is simple, his head isn't. And I think this Pop's hat looks great. And I like the fact they used uh, kind of brown paint against the tan. The little red right there kind of, you know, sets it out a bit. Overall, looking at this thing, I love it. I think it's got such cool, serious personality. It's got good attitude. I love Kung Fu Panda, so I'm already, you know, on board with this. But I love this. Thanks for watching.